I know it's it's a bit strange because obviously your contract situation, Chris's contract situation, it's a year away. But with that said, have you heard anything about that, Kayla? And I think the answer would be yes. But are you interested in a cross promotion <laughs> fight against Chris Cyborg? Am I interested? Yes. I thought I was going to be fighting Chris Cyborg on April 22nd in Hawaii. So yes, I'm interested in the fight. Uh, I'm, you know, I'm more than ready for and willing to, to step up for that opportunity. I think the fans want it. I know I want it. I know PFL yeah. wants it. Um, I'm ready. You know, I, I, I really, I thought that that was going to happen this year. I thought it was going to happen last week. So yeah. Uh, what happened with a, what happened with, what would have been a fight that just happened, Kayla? Uh, so you, I mean, it's, we've tired the free agency period. Um, yeah. you know, I chose okay, gotcha. to enter free agency. Bellator made an offer and it wasn't going to be like, Oh, Kayla does a tune up fight. And then maybe she fights. It was going to be like, no, your first fight's going to be cyborg. Um, April 22nd. This is what we want. I said, okay, I accepted. Wow. Um, and PFL had the right to match and ultimately they did. So, um, and I'm happy. I'm very happy with where I'm at. I'm excited about the yeah. season. You know, I, I'm, I'm excited for the potential fight with Cyborg, yeah. but I have four fights in front of me um, in five and a half months. It's not, it's no easy feat. It's a grind. Anyone who's done it will tell you that it's very mentally and physically draining and, and um, but I'm jacked up for it. You know, I'm, I'm excited for another season. I'm excited to continue to build my legacy and uh, let me just whoop on these girls real quick and then I'll go whoop on Cyborg. Yeah, yeah, I would think even if you took the fight, the fight night out of it, that just for training camps is 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 oh no, it's brutal. Cooling, it's right? the training camps that kill you. Right, I mean, right. I am very fortunate. Knock on wood, you know, like I don't tend to get too many injuries on fight night, um, but the training camps leading up to them are, you know, when you spar with friggin' Pedro Munoz and Tony Gravely, it's not like it's no walk in the park. I leave every sparring session. Like, did I just die? Did I get in if, when you, if fight? you spar with this, so if you spar with them, Kayla, then how the hell is anyone? At, it's never going to get tougher than that. Right. Well, that's um, the goal, right? Like yeah. that's why I make the training hard so that, right. You know, that fight night's easy. That's the goal. 